Ah, son of a bitch! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into WarioWare Incorporated colon Mega Micro Games colon Mini Game Mania colon Made in Wario. Uh, depends what country you're from as to which colon you got. Could be Mega Micro Games, could be Mini Game Mania, could be Made in Wario. Uh, this is one one of the most annoying things I find about some of these old games is that sometimes they're hard to track down because there's all these like regional variations and I kind of get it for like you know older games or like titles that would be confusing in other countries but like think about this in the US this game was called Mega Micro Games in Europe it was called Mini Game Mania like come on like Mega Micro Games would have been too confusing to the poor Europeans like we couldn't possibly have, uh, have, have used that title. I don't know. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, anyway, we're going to be checking this game out on the uh, Game Boy Advance, as you can see here. Wario is up to his old dastardly deeds. He's falling asleep at the computer. It looks like a really old iMac. There's Wario. Get a close-up of his face, I guess. He's having ideas. He's laughing. I got it. I'll call his friends, I think it said. Jimmy, Mona. I've never heard or seen of these people ever before. Except in the other WarioWare game we played a long time ago. WarioWare Twisted, I think it was? And, uh, yeah, it was showing his computer. So, okay, if you can follow what's going on, WarioWare games are known for being, like, zany and crazy and insane. So, uh, this game is not going to make a lot of sense. It's not supposed to make sense. It's just supposed to sort of be very fun um, little mini games. And, as I said, we're going to be checking this out on the Game Boy Advance. We will also check out its remake... Uh, called WarioWare. This one's called Mega Party Games. And by the way, Micro Games and Mega Party Games, the S in the title is a dollar sign. Uh, I guess because it's Wario and he's obsessed with cash money. Uh, but that was a remake made for the GameCube, but it's basically the same game. So I'm curious to see how they took a Game Boy Advance game and how it translated to the Nintendo GameCube. So we'll be just peeking at that at the end of the video today. Without further ado, though, uh, further ado, though let's go ahead and press start and get this show on the road. So we have to enter a name. Um, okay, so for Wario, he is like the anti-Mario. So rather than being J, how about let's be the anti-J. So what's the opposite letter of J? Uh, R, I guess? I, I don't even know. I don't even know if that makes a lot of sense. But look, we're the dastardly Ray. Okay. It's, it's somehow less exciting. You know what? Hold on. Let's... How do we go back? B? No, wait. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. B, 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 B. There we go. Uh, let's be... Way! Sounds an awful lot like Ray. We... <laughs> it's so stupid. Alright, my attempt to be a Wario character is, uh, sounds just really dumb. Went from J to Ray to Way. The W for Wario. And I can't even, like... Make it even more exciting. We could be Warrior, but that'd just be dumb. So, okay, whatever. We're just going to go ahead and accept it. This name pleases us. Our name is Way, and I guess we're a dude. Uh, last time I checked, anyway. Diamond City 20X. So sometime in between 2001 and 2009. They didn't want to narrow it down. They were sort of like, leave a little mystery in the story, you know. But the 20X thing is totally... I think that's like a trope from Mega Man in the year 21XX, you know. <laughs> um, oh, there's Wario doing his daily exercises. Um, but yeah, why did they use the year X? I don't know. Uh, I think you can beat my games? I don't know. Do we? I, I don't know if I do necessarily. I'm here to play your games. I have no illusions about my capacity to actually beat them. He's jumped out of his chimney, flying through space, back into the chimney. Okay, and then he landed in a boombox. You guys following this? Now he's in a tape. Are we playing a game yet? Dodge. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I almost failed at that. We succeeded. Okay. Now we have another one. Catch. Yeah, we got it. So here's the thing about WarioWare, and this was true of the other WarioWare game that we played. It's, uh, they, they call them micro games. So... You're, you're probably familiar with mini games, which are like small variations of uh, 
<laughs> the shirt just fell on me. Small very there's like small versions of games um, that exist inside another bigger game. And my and micro games are like a staple nowadays of video games. It's interesting if you look at the history of video games. Some games that we now consider mini games used to be full on games um, back in the day. That was like a Mario One level. That was interesting. Um, but now now they're essentially not a full game in and of themselves. They're now just a mini game. Um, but Wario kind of takes it to a new level where rather than being like mini games where you at least have like a couple minutes to play the game, you literally have like five seconds. Like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, he beat me. No. Do we get to try again? He's like, no, you failed. Oh, we lost a life. Okay. Spar. Punch. Punch. Oh, damn it. Oh, this is the first one that's actually hard. Interesting. So these mini games are like intense micro gaming experiences. And boom! Oh my god, no! We're so close. This one's actually kind of tricky. You gotta really get the timing right. All the other ones are actually surprisingly easy. I think this thing that separates a mini game from a micro game is that micro games happen so fast that it's not about beating them, but it's about can you figure the game out in the two seconds you have to see it. You know, like you get an instruction and you just gotta go. There's no time to learn. There's no time to figure anything out. It's just micro games are about like pure gaming instinct almost. Um, if that kind of makes sense. And and that I think that is a qualitative difference from micro game. Um, so I think micro game is the right term is what I'm saying. So now a potato and a shark have trapped me back in the boom box. But then I got big and landed on them with my butt. And now he's laughing. He's giggling to himself. He's like, yeah, potato on my butt. He, he, he. Hey, you did it. Next, it's Jimmy. So I guess we just go through and play a series of micro games from these different characters. Um, all right. So, sure. Oh, it's loading. Something is loading. Okay. What, what has to load on the Game Boy Advance? I've never seen a loading game on a system this, uh, or loading screen on a system this sort of old school. All right, let's try the Jimmy level to see what they're about. Jimmy looks like uh, Disco Stew from The Simpsons. I do like this overworld, though. It makes it feel like it's an interesting city. Uh, this city has a lot of green space, too. Like, look, there's so many open fields and stuff. It'd be awesome to live in that city. You just, As a kid, you could just run around in fields and play, and there's like there were tropical trees and stuff mixed in with like uh, those deciduous trees. Um, so, yeah. Now, one thing I have heard about WarioWare over the years, and I don't know if this is true or not, but I've heard it's a dumping ground for all the ideas Nintendo's ever had for minigames that they just couldn't, or, or gameplay mechanics, they couldn't get to work anywhere else. Um, and I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I know this, that uh, WarioWare itself as a series was inspired by a Nintendo 64 DD game called Mario Artist Polygonal Studios. Um, ow, I hurt my hand. Oh, I see. I got to chop when it when it go, goes high. Okay. Balance. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so the games are getting a little harder. Um, but Mario Artist Polygonal Studio. I think it was like the Mario paint equivalent of like 3D polygonal stuff. There we go. We did it. <laughs> I'm on like a cell phone playing games now or something like that. Hey. Hey, ho, ha, yeah. Uh, so Mario Polygon Studio. Probably, oops, I should have aimed there. Probably none of you guys have heard of Mario Polygonal Studio because again, it came out on the Nintendo 64 DD. Um, and have you guys heard of the Nintendo 64 DD? Some of you might have, some of you might not have. Uh, but basically it was a disc drive, a hard drive add-on for the Nintendo 64. And it actually had its own games. It had a Sim City for Nintendo 64, which we never got in North America. Uh, because the DD, by the way, was only ever released in Japan. So it's this, it's this completely different uh, set of Nintendo 64 games we've never seen. And Mario Artist Polygonal Studio was one of, uh, one of those games. Um, and so it basically it let you sort of draw things in 3D and uh, with polygons. And it also had a series of mini games like Mario Paint did. Um, okay, now that I know what I'm doing, these mini games are not that hard. Um, and we'll return the tennis ball. That one's super easy. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the Mario Polygonal Artist, not only did it have mini games that inspired WarioWare, 
But some of the some of the games, some of the micro games in uh, the Polygonal Studio uh, were were later sort of co-opted for WarioWare. So some of the uh, some of the mini games in this game are from the Polygonal Studio, which I always thought was kind of cool. Kaboom! Okay, we're we're getting about 50% of these micro games, I would say. Um, catch the ball! Oh, it hit him right in the side of the face. Jeez. Okay, game over. All right. Uh, you know, I don't mind these game overs because the mini games they go so fast that I don't think it's that big a deal to see them like two or three times. And I'm getting better every time I see them, so I'm cool with that. But yeah, the Nintendo 64 DD, by the way, the last thing I'll say about it is I actually have a way to play some old Nintendo 64 DD games. I've never done it, but I've, I've thought uh, of one day playing some games for uh, the channel. Like, I would love to try SimCity on the Nintendo 64. It'll be all in Japanese, so it'll be hard for me to figure out. But I, I think SimCity is a pretty graphical game. I, I think we could figure out what to do. hey -oh, and off we go to the races. Um, so we're on the, the W phone, by the way, if you notice. Hold on, watch. It'll say W phone in the top right corner. I guess it's like the iPhone, only in Wario's land. Wario, I guess, in invented the iPhone, which I don't know how that works because Wario does not seem like the most tech-savvy guy. He's no Steve Jobs, basically. Woo! Oh, we almost ran out of time there. And th this is like a very, this is a very unique sort of style of mini game game we've got going on here. It, it's reminiscent of NES Remix. Have you guys played the NES Remix? That's actually a really good, uh, really good game. Uh, but it, it, it's kind of like this, where it's like a set of mini games. That's like a really good game they released. I think it came out on the Wii U. I don't think it ever came out on the Wii. It could, uh, I can't remember though. I think it was a Wii U. Whoops. <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't be talking when I'm playing a new micro game. But I'm pretty sure it came out on the Wii U. Um, I don't know what's happening here. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, we're dead. All right, we're going to try this one one more time. Um, but yeah, the NES Remix. So NES Remix is basically the same idea, except instead of only having like two seconds, you usually get more like, you know, 30 seconds or a minute or sometimes it's very quick, but oftentimes you get a little bit more time with the games. And the, the mini games are not just abstract mini games. They're actually uh, old NES games. So you could play like a little bit of Legend of Zelda or Mario 1 or Excite Bike or, or whatever. And actually what's interesting, what's... Was kind of, what I always thought was kind of cool about NES Remix is that I feel like it distills the f some of the more fun, challenging, rewarding parts of those old retro games um, into, into a technique that, or into a form that like younger audiences can experience those games. So like, let's say that you have like a little brother who's never played Mario Brothers 1 um, and they don't really have an interest in going back to those old games, but you get them going with NES Remix they might only experience, you know, a couple minutes of Mario Brothers 1 playing that whole game, but they'll probably experience some of the more rewarding and challenging little bits of Mario 1. So while I don't think NES Remix replaces retro, the, any of those classic retro games, I do definitely see it as a way to sort of distill the uh, some of the experience of those retro games into something that like uh, younger audiences might enjoy. So, so I've always been a fan of the NES Remix. I, I think I have them both. I think I've played them, and uh, I like them. Um, okay, that failed. Oh, I think I moved the trampoline on that one. Boom! Home run, baby. Um, I feel like, though, this... Um, so, whereas NES Remix gives you, like, the rewarding experience of experiencing those old NES games... Knock out. Um, okay. Oh, it, it's, uh, it's literally Punch-Out. Boom. We just have to dodge. Boom. Oh, this is so easy compared to the first boss. <laughs> Suck it, buddy. That was actually a mini game. That was actually more of a mini. Like, I would I would enjoy more games like that, I think. Because that was actually like a mini game. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think NES Remix replaces um, the original NES games. But it's like a nice sampling. It's like when you go to a restaurant and you get like a sample, like, like a beer uh, sampling where you have like little glasses of all these different beers and you can just taste them. It's not the same as like enjoying, you know, um, enjoying one of those beers um, by itself, but you get like a little sample of it. So, uh, so yeah. 
Um, anyway, our, our, our clowny buddy Jimmy here is off to dance in the windowsill of Gelateria. You know what's weird is all the people in Wario's world, I feel like they don't look very much ne the next three, man. Um, they don't look very much like Wario, you know? Like, they kind of look like different... I mean, maybe they kind of look like Wario, but I I don't know. I, I feel like it's it's weird. Like, the, like, Wario... Like, this girl looks nothing like Wario. She looks way too hot to exist in Wario's world. Wario's kind of like this, like, fugly goblin of a man. Like, this looks way too cartoony. I don't know. I don't know. Like, Mario, Peach, and Toad all kind of look like they belong in the same universe, and Luigi. Wario... He, did, he exists in the universe, but I just don't think with these people. Anyway, we'll play uh, Mona's level. Um, I guess all the levels are themed. You know, Jimmy was like on the dance floor. But it's not like his games were specifically themed about dancing. So I think they're just like a random collection of micro games. And like in between micro games, what you're looking at is themed. Like we were looking at Jimmy's cell phone as he danced, as he danced the night away. But I don't think it has anything to do. Like she's going to be working in like... Uh, some kind of ice cream parlor here, but it's not like we're, all the games are going to be centered around ice cream or anything like that. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, maybe the game will surprise us and it will have some kind of coherent theme, but I don't know. And why do these people have, like, what does it mean to have mini games? I don't understand. Were we playing games on Jimmy's phone for him? And like, now we're going to play games for, like, her work? I don't know. The, 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 there's like all this these cutscenes and stuff between the levels and like kids are coming to school and stuff But like it doesn't really make any difference, you know like, I don't know it's interesting that they went to all this trouble But they could have just had the micro games and not had any of this stuff going on like what does what is happening here? She's gonna be late, but she gonna get pulled over by the cops now like okay Sure if that's if that's the way we got to go like all of this just to get to some micro games <laughs> It's like, when did video games become like a movie? You know? It's interesting. Um, okay, I, I don't know what the heck just happened there. An elephant shot. Oh, now there's a pig. And he's gonna kick a soccer ball at the cops. And he falls on his butt. And she's like, ha ha ha, breaking the law is enjoyable. Man, old school Nintendo would never approve of this. Old school Nintendo would never have one of their characters being chased by cops. Imagine, like, in the early days, and there's just, like, a monkey eating a banana. <laughs> Was he gonna, like, trip every single... There was, like, a dozen police cars there. He can't trip them all. Oh, okay, that's... What is happening? And now we're going into the micro games. Um, okay. Oh, I failed at picking my nose. Oh, my God. And so the cops are getting closer. What is happening? Boom. We got the toast or the Pop-Tart or whatever. And we killed a cop. So every time we successfully play a mini game, this this monkey kills a cop. Speed up. All right, let's do it. Tilt. Okay, we failed at that one. <laughs> Sniff. Oh god, this is so that's so gross. Fail. Okay. Uh, aim. There we go. Thank you. Hey, there was a dude on fire. Pro tip: when you're on fire, don't just stand there. Oh my god. All right, that's that works. Interesting. It looked like there was more level there, but <laughs> Oh man. This, you know what these remind me of is like really bad flash games. This is like Nintendo found a way to make really bad flash games and package them up and make people actually want to play them. Okay, brush the teeth. That one's super easy, man. Any dork can brush some teeth. Give me a hard one like jamming a finger up my nose. Didn't look like he was doing much picking. It was sort of resting his finger in his nose. Boom, we got the Pop-Tart. We're a cop killing machine. They're gonna sink Judge Dredd on us if we're not careful. Steer, steer, that one's easy. I kinda like that one actually. I wish that was like more of a game. That one's easy too. Like if you actually had to sort of like steer around and like, oh, I jumped the gun there. That was my fault. I knew what I had to do, but my finger slipped. Um, oh, this one's disgusting. Snort it up your nose, baby. <laughs> Look. Okay, we're on level seven. Ah, oh, we got him. <laughs> what, what were we catching? Like a little cubert thingy? Detonate. I have no idea what I was supposed to do on that one. Okay, tilt. There we go. That one's easy. 
You just kind of take it, take it slow. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to the boss level, actually. Deploy. Oh, okay. Uh, that was just luck. I didn't even know what I was supposed to do. See what I mean about, like, you have to, like, rely on, like, your gaming instincts. Like, like... Oh, oh, God. Oh, I'm getting <laughs> stopped. <laughs> See, like, I didn't even know. Was I in charge of the foot? Was I in charge of the little guy? I missed the thread. Okay, we're game over. All right, we're trying this one a few more times. Um, okay, go ahead and retry. Why not? Yeah, like, it, it's it's like you, you just have to, like, have the most intense gaming instincts ever where you're just like, I can sense how this game's going to work. Like, in the amount of time it takes most people to just recognize what's on the screen, you have to be playing the game because it goes that fast. It's crazy. Um, it is... Oh, right in the middle of the nose. It is a kind of novel way of designing a game, I suppose. But, I don't know, it's just, it's more frantic. I, I kind of liken WarioWare to, like, the ADD version of, of minigames. It's sort of like Nintendo figured out how to distill ADD down into, like, gaming form. And that's, I don't, again, I don't know what to do for that one. And that's basically what it is. Um, boom, we got it. Like, it's just so frantic. And the weird thing is, okay, like, you can like WarioWare. And, and WarioWare, like, it seems fine to me. Like, I will fully admit that I'm not, I'm not, like, the biggest WarioWare fan out there. I I find it, like, okay, but, like, it is pretty frantic. And um, just it's, it's just sort of, like, organized chaos. But one thing that I... Did I get it? I missed. <laughs> Damn it. One thing that I really don't get is like all the praise that was given to WarioWare when this game came out. I think it's an interesting game, but I think it's kind of like an overpraised concept. It's just mini games, but they're just so fast that you don't have time to figure stuff out. Um, but in 2004, when this game came out, it won like an international Game Fest award. And it was like a panel of like industry experts, academics, journalists. And they, they, you know, it won like an award for like being like the best, most innovative game uh, concept or whatever, but I mean, I, I don't know like like no no WarioWare is not that innovative I'm sorry to anyone out there who really loves WarioWare. I'm not saying it's like a bad game. Oh, there we go um, But it's just that like, you know, like I would consider something like Braid Braid was like a masterpiece that game bent our minds with both gameplay and story and it all hung together in a way we that, that subverted our expectations and that we'd never seen before. Braid deserves praise. That game is like art and game combined into something like amazing. Um, this just feels like, again, like Nintendo's dumping ground of like any random idea they could possibly think of. Uh, and uh, again, I'm not necessarily saying these, these games aren't fun, you can't get into it, but like to win like an award for like you know, being like the best? I don't, I don't know, it's just mini games. Oh God. Uh, WarioWare is punishing me now. It's like, you don't dare speak ill of Wario. Oh yeah, we saved him. Um, yeah, it's, it's, WarioWare is no masterpiece in my opinion. It's just mini games. And in fact, I would honestly consider the NES remix to be a uh, pound. I would honestly consider the NES remix to be... Oh, that hurt. Oh, I see what's supposed to happen here. Okay. I'd honestly consider the NES Remix to be, like, a better set of minigames than WarioWare here. Like, I, I enjoy the NES Remix uh, more. Boom. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn. Oh, man. All right. Can we try this one more time? Let's try this monkey level. I feel like we gotta pass the monkey level and just see what happens next. And I feel like I have it in me to do it. And once we see, like, the next set of minigames, I think we can uh, move on to the GameCube and just kind of see what's going on there. So as far as I understand it, the GameCube... Oh, fuck. The GameCube version is basically the same game, but it's just more multiplayer-focused. And so I don't know if playing it single-player will be any different to this at all, um, or if we'll have totally different minigames or what. Uh, but once you add a multiplayer component to this, doesn't it start to kind of feel a little bit like Mario Party? Damn it, we failed at that too! We're getting sloppy. These like easy mini games are like I know how to beat. We're totally failing. Okay, come on. I wish they would like show you what mini game. Oh, damn it. What mini game it was before you played. I mean, I know they give you the title, 
but like things happen so fast in this game that does not really help. Like we're down to one life here, man. One life. I even that that paper airplane one I like the the most. When you're facing down, the airplane uh, goes faster, and then when you're facing horizontal, it's slower. So it's kind of interesting. This one's super easy. Sniff up the booger, or the tear, or whatever the hell it was. Speed up. All right, now we squirt in the guy's eyeball, and then he, I don't know, he or she cries. Cries a tear. This is one we can never do. Boom, we got it. All right, we got that one. Deploy, boom. Did we save him? Oh, missed. No, that was that was what you're supposed to do, right? You're supposed to ricochet the guy's face off the airbag. I don't even know the right timing for that airbag one. I've just gotten lucky every time I've played it before. All right, brush the teeth. So what do you guys think of Wario? We are here, by the way. Like, can, like I've already sort of said, like, it's, it's interesting and it can be kind of fun, but, like, I think it's a little overpraised. And it is just micro games. And I think something like NES Remix I enjoy more. Um, like, what's your take on that, you know? Like, is, is, is this more unique than I'm giving it credit for? Is it more fun than I'm giving it credit for? You know, actually, I, I'm... Even more curious to take a look at the GameCube version now because I kind of wonder, like maybe in multiplayer, this would be a lot more fun. Um, I've often said this, but like, there, games can like really change in multiplayer. You know, a game that's like so so single player can be like amazing multiplayer, and vice versa. A game that's you know, um, a, a game that's so so multi. Well, actually, no. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't make sense for us. A game that's so, so multiplayer could have amazing single player. We get to experience the single player. So that's nothing new. Uh, but yeah, there's some games that like, it's just for whatever reason, playing them solo just is like only mildly interesting, but playing them with friends is like actually really fun. Um, okay, boom. Like I wish some of these micro games were actually longer. Like the one we played like two games ago now where the guy was trying to like stomp us. That would actually been really fun to uh, to have like more of a game there. Boom, we got that one. I'm getting better at that threading one. Um, boom, and we're at the boss stage with three lives. Okay, if I can't do this, then um, then then we got real problems, guys. All right, one way trip to Pound Town. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, my hand! Bonehead! Damn it! Okay, two more trips to Pound Town. We got this, man. We got this. Okay, we just gotta, like, take our time. There's no time limit on this one, so it's like, I really shouldn't rush. That's it. Look out. That's it. That's it. Oh, come on, man! Damn it! Okay, we got one more shot at this. Okay, I take it back. If we don't pass this, we don't pass this. We, we got to move on. Okay, start. Boom. 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 Oh, we're doing so good. Oh, we're doing so good. Oh, come on. Yes, we did it! Oh, God, so satisfying in, like, a uh, horrible, terrible way. <laughs> Fifteen, baby. I guess the top score is like 18 if you do all the mini games correct. Or maybe not. Maybe that was just a count of how many I done. The, the weird little animals in her car jumping up and down. Mona has shown up for work. She's killed a number of police officers, but it was all in service of punching in at 8 a.m. And then she's like laughing and she's like getting awards for showing up to work. What? And, and she works with a hyperactive dog. What the hell? What the hell? I, words don't describe. How would you describe this? And then a bunch of children and pandas and bears, I guess, are coming into work. They're giving little Hitler salutes there. Uh, maybe this is like a little Hitler town or something. Um, wow, get out of here. Wow, way, uh, guy, you did it. Oh, yeah, that's my name, way. Um, all right. Yay, I suppose. Okay, we got two more characters to check out. We're only going to check out one of them, though. Here's the big deci big decision time. Oh, look, there's a two-player mode. Oh, what is this? Jump forever? Oh, we got to see that. Okay, we got 9 volts and a dog. I feel like we got to check out 9 volts. We got to see what's going on with, with, this, sh with this schmuck. Um, the Diamond Elementary. I guess he's a kid at school. 
And maybe he's like a child inventor or something. There's a T-Rex in the school zone. Then the T-Rex is no bigger than a child. I, the scale of this world makes very little sense. And, and he's trying to get to his house. I like how they show you. So there's like, there's no confusion. The kid is massive. Oh my God, he's a giant. He's bigger than the buildings. Hey, there's Super Nintendo, Virtual Boy, Game Boy. What the heck? Oh, I'm glad we picked this one. Did you see that? There was a Super Scope. Maybe we're gonna get to play some like old school NES games. I was just talking about how I liked NES Remix more. Maybe they're gonna like, oh, he's using a Game Boy to like DJ. Interesting. Um, what are all the systems behind him? Oh my God, we are, we're playing on a Game Boy. Dodge. Oh my God, it's NES Remix. We did it. Okay, I, I should be good at these. You know what the thing is? This is actually much better, because at least when they show me a game, I understand what I'm supposed to do. Boom. Duck Hunt. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, man. I Imagine we missed this. Boom. Suck it, Goomba. You failed the game. I'm going to rock at all of these, man. Dodge the barrel. That's easy. Okay. Th this must be a predecessor to... Um, to NES Remix. Like, there must have been some influence of this for NES Remix. This is like, this is my, my deal, man. What the heck is this? That was like an Atari 2600 game. And we are rocking this. Oh, we missed it. Rob the robot, you suck. Well, Rob, Rob sucks. Enter. Oh my God. <laughs> what kind of game is that? Okay, see, see what I mean about, um, see what I mean about these micro games, like not really being real games. The game for Legend of Zelda. Oh, that was an old school NES reference. Wow. That was before NES. It was like Nintendo before NES. Um, but uh, yeah, the like game for Legend of Zelda was to enter a cave. That's not a game. Oh, man. I, <laughs> I just got lucky drawing there. Throw. Oh, I missed. Oh, that was a Virtual Boy game. I've never played that one before. A boss appears. All right. Awesome. Let's do this. Hit six. Okay. Play ball. Do it. Boom. One. Two. Oh, this is so easy. Oh, okay. Never mind. It throws him tricky sometimes. Oh, you jerk. Oh, my God. I've missed four. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Ah, oh, bastard. <laughs> Okay, so they vary up the throwing. Oh, I, I still can go. Okay. If this is a fast one, we got it. Oh, it's a slow one. Easy. Easy, man. Oh, that was cool. So they even mixed in, like, Nintendo toys. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay, so this game just got a lot cooler in my mind. But at the same time, again, like, look at... What was the Legend of Zelda level? It was Enter a Cave. That's not a game. That's just, can you do something in, in five? Can you figure something out in five seconds? Like, like that's what I mean about the, these micro games, like being the bare, these are almost the bare minimum of what you could consider a game because it's not, you know, attack an enemy or do anything. Oh, he's a hoverboard like Marty McFly. But it's like enter a cave. You have five seconds to figure out you're supposed to enter a cave. Can you do it? It's like, that's not a game. That's just like, do you have ADHD, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, the, the nine volt levels were pretty cool. You know, for nothing, for no other reason than they're awesome references. You know, you'll always sell me on old school eight bit Nintendo references. Oh, he joined the little Zeke Isle party. All right, I feel like we need Indiana Jones to come break up this uh, ice cream shop. That that is a kid obsessed with video games. I admit defeat, you win. Kid, we both won. If you know what I mean. Um, okay, let's check out the dog. Why not? Oh, and there's a couple of different versus things. So let's see, we'll take some peeks at these things before we kind of move on so we can feel like we've done our due diligence here, but let's just see what's going on with this dog here. Uh, so the dog works for the taxi company, clearly. He's uh, into taxis and stuff. Um, 
You know what? I wish there was a version of WarioWare where every game was based off of an old Nintendo game. So again, the reason I did well at those 9 volt levels is not because I was suddenly a better gamer, but it's just that when you show me a Dr. Mario screen, I instinctively know what I'm supposed to do. When you show me Mario Brothers 1, the Goombas coming at me, I know what I'm supposed to do. You know, when you show me Legend of Zelda and there's an open cave and there's no bad guys, I know what I'm supposed to do. So I feel like these micro games, they're not so much about can you play the games. I mean, the boss levels, you do actually have to play. That one boss is kind of like punch out. You kind of have to have some skill to beat that. But it's it's a low level of skill because it's not about can't do you have the, the, the sort of gaming skills to get by this. It's just can you react fast enough? Can you figure out in about one second what you're supposed to do? And so when it's games that have no context, you know, like don't get stomped, drop a... Uh, deploy an airbag to save a crash test dummy. It's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what I'm in control of. It's kind of trial and error and you hope to get lucky. When it's like, you can clearly see it's an old school NES game. It's like, you can you can figure it out. So I think the NES levels are a lot more fun for me. Um, oh my God, you took an arrow to the head. <laughs> They're a lot more fun for me because you could actually figure it out. So I, I thought those were really cool. Um, oh, this, this level's kind of cool, like flying, uh, Superman flying around buildings. Makes sense. Oh, land. Oh, we did it. That's kind of like Excite Bike. I don't know, they're like, it's not like all these, these levels are, what the heck is this? That's a Mario, a weird Mario Bowser thing. Um, it's not like all these levels are impossible to figure out, but, uh, you know, many of them can be figured out, but I, I just enjoyed the, uh, the NES ones way more. These other ones just feel like they lack the same amount of character. And this is this is like largely the games I've played before, actually. They're mixing in a few new ones. We're starting to see a lot of repeats. Attack. Boom. Kill it. Destroy the aliens. That's like a Space Invaders level, I guess. I guess you could say hit Mars. Um, was that Mars? I don't know. <laughs> it was a red planet. Assemble. Oh, we missed the head. We're just a we're a headless robot. That could be more cool than the robot they were going for. Flea We've done this one before, so I guess they show you the same levels over and over. But I guess eventually they get harder and harder, which I I, I don't actually mind that because then at least you have some context for what you're supposed to do. You just have to be better at it, so that's cool. Ow! <laughs> Never seen that one before. Okay, we're at 14 dodge. This one's pretty easy. It's just like the other Atari 2600 one that we saw. Shoot. Sunny. Okay, I didn't even have to move the spacecraft there. Like, some of these levels are just gimmies. Um, beam. Okay, what the heck was that? <laughs> Press right and then up. Okay. Alright, we and we dodged that. Are we at the boss level yet? Chop. Ah, oh, we failed. We died. We're dummies and we died. Game over, punk. Game over. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and let this one go. He's just gonna drive off into the night and fail. No fares for him. All right, so we got a couple of options here that we've unlocked. The chicken race or the chi the chi chiritori. Um, can you play this one player when it's a two player game? How does that even work? Okay, go. One, one person, it says R and L. L. Okay. What do we do? You win. What? What? Wait, what the heck? Okay, so hold on. We have to go all the way over here. Okay. Oh, so it's like one person holds L and one person holds R. And then you just see who wins. You know what? That's actually a creative way of doing two players on a Game Boy Advance. Because, like, it's not like you would have two controllers. So you have mini games that rely on L and R, so you share a controller. That's actually cool. That's actually pretty cool. I will I will give them that. So let's see. Ready. Okay, this one will go like this. This one will go like this. Let's see who goes where. Oh, the guy on top totally died. <laughs> you won by default. Your friend is dead. Okay, so it's first to, th to three stars, so 400 inches. Interesting. Um, oops. And as soon as you let go, you have no chance to, like, revise your foot. You adjust your foot once, and then that's it. All right, this is this is it, man. This is, this is kill zone time. Oh, my God. What happens if we both die? I guess it's a draw. 
Let's, let's try to... Okay, I'm going to hold Elnar at the same time and see what happens. Boom. See if it's an identical. No, the other guy won! Oh, I mean, maybe... I, I can't guarantee my fingers were pixel perfect in terms of, uh... Um, you know... Letting go at the same time, but whatever. Anyway, okay, so that's that. Let's take a quick look at this. Chiritori. I don't know why I have such trouble saying that. Suck up. What did it say? I don't know. What are you trying to do? Oh, you're trying to, like, get... Get things. Interesting. Okay, so the blue one is just going to constantly go, and the red one we're actually going to try and aim. So when you let go of L or R, that's when you can, like, aim. Interesting. Wait, we gotta go to a hundred of these things? Are you crazy? It should take forever. Okay, forget it. <laughs> Alright, well, that's, that's another minigame. What is this one? This is Infinite Jump, I think. I think this is one player. Alright, here we go. Go! One, two, three, four... Five. Okay, so if you were on a long car ride, you had nothing to do. You wanted to try and jump rope forever. You could. I guess it's going to keep getting faster and faster. Okay. No, I mean, it's it's a game of, of sorts. Faster. So every 10 we go faster. I just want to see like how fast it goes. I'll probably fail at some point here. But let's see. This is my first shot. Never... <laughs> It's gonna be like, never played it before, let's see how hard I can get. Kinda wasn't paying attention and I died. Look at the jump rope screen. Jump forever! This guy is like a pink sweat, sweat so like, yeah! Wow. Does this look like a screen from a Wario themed video game? No! Wario is like a grotesque disfigured Mario who's fat and farts and eats garlic. Why is it pink? I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Well, we, I think we've seen a good amount of WarioWare Incorporated here. Uh, I think it's time that we check out the GameCube version and see how this game translates to better hardware. And let's see if we can find those NES levels. We've, it probably would take too long. We're just going to peek at the GameCube version. We just want to kind of like see, like, how does it hold up and what's different about it? So let's, let's check it out. All right, presented by Nintendo. This game uses an autosave feature. Swapping memory cards during the game is a bad idea. Create a Wario win- <laughs> Nah, forget it. Whoa, oh my god, it's- it's- wow, they've already, like, upped it. They're like, this is like a rock and roll game now, people. See how the S in games is a dollar sign, by the way? Might have to rewind and pause the video there. Here's good old Diamond City and Club Sugar, where all the sweet, sweet action goes down. We got Jimmy. He looks more cartoony here. What? The girls are getting hotter! <laughs> what the hell? What kind of bizarre world where all the men are like Wario-looking freaks and the girls are like these photo-esque like Japanese anime girls? Like some fantasy world there. Uh, yeah, okay. So Jimmy dances. Okay, forget it. Forget about the intro. Let's just single player, multiplayer, and uh, options. So I guess we'll check out single player because, you know, it's just me. So, who are you? I am a new guy. Also, like, what a weird number of save spots. Like, there's just, like, one here. Why not two more? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. All right. So, uh, what was our name again? Way. Our incredibly creative, awesome name. We are the character Way. Yup. I'm a dude. You guessed it. Single player. Let's try the games, I guess. Why not? Um, beat all of the games in each genre. You can only clear a genre by defeating its boss. Okay. I will try the Game Boy Advance games because I'm pretty sure that's all there is. First floor. Okay, so these are, these are the same games that we saw before. But it will actually serve me well having actually played the other one. Oh, no, wait. These are different games. Huh. Okay. Now what do I do? Third floor. Flee. I know this one. Run away from these things. The graphics look like a little nicer. Like the graphics between levels look nicer. The graphics in the level just kind of like like a smoothed over copy of like a Game Boy emulator. So I'm I'm kind of curious like uh, if if this game actually does run a Game Boy emulator, or if they like redid all of these games. Oh, get over here! 
<laughs> you jerk. Alright, so speed up. Let, let's see if we can beat the boss, I guess. With all of our Game Boy experience. Yeah, dress me. He's like, got a pole up his butt and he wants somebody to have a, a shirt fall on him because he's too lazy to put his own shirt on. Tell you what, how about take the take the stick out of me? That's what I would want. Forget about dressing. I can I can put my own shirt on. Somebody get that stick out of me. Grab. What am I grabbing? Oh, pff. like you didn't even know what I was grabbing, man. Not fair. Speed up. Tenth floor. Stop me. That one's pretty easy. That that one's like a gimme. There's so many micro games here that are like just easy. Like that one's so easy too. I guess on the later stages, there's more coins. You actually gonna have to work at it a bit. This is gonna be the, yeah, chain ball or whatever. So we go boom, 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 boom. We rocked it. We're the mega. We're the best. We're the best. Oh my god. Whoa, I'm beat. It has like a totally different story, by the way, which makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, like, what kind of story were you expecting from uh, WarioWare? Then we go off to fight Jimmy T. They, they got rid of, like, his whole his whole dancing thing. His dancing thing and the cell phone. That's all gone now. Now it's all in elevators. That doesn't make no sense. Hey, look, I figured out this one finally. You have to move the trampoline to follow the guy. And I gotta catch this. Uh, I, you know what? I wonder if they're gonna give me a choice after this guy and let me go to the... Oh, jeez. I've never seen that before. Let me go to the NES levels, because that's what I really want. I just want to play those ones again. What the heck? Oh, did I get it? No, what? I failed! Oh, come on! Never seen this before, either. Alright. Did I pass or fail that one? I can't even tell. Defend. Alright, we got that. Anyway, WarioWare Inc. So I guess, I guess this is literally the same game. Um... I, I'm sure there are some multiplayer levels, but uh, as far as single player goes, it's virtually identical. Virtually the same game. There's a few different games. I don't know if they've been added in or we just didn't get a chance to see them on the Game Boy version. But uh, yeah. Anyway, so WarioWare Inc. here is one of the games of the book. A thousand and one video games you must play before you die. Oh, what the hell. Um, and I don't think that this is necessarily a must play. I gotta say. I gotta admit that as far as like mini game games go, WarioWare is, it is interesting in that it mixes up the formula with these like micro games. But like honestly, I, you know, like as I've already said, I think like NES Remix is like a better, um, is like a better um, set of mini games. It's just more fun, you know? Like I, I think these Wario games, like a lot of them, like when you don't know what's happening, Oh my god, like, what was I supposed to do there? Didn't even know. Okay, catch the soccer ball. Yay, we won. Uh, I, I, thought he, I thought he was dead there. I couldn't tell. Sometimes I can't tell if I passed level or failed it. Oh yeah, these micro games, they happen so fast. It really does feel like the gaming equivalent of like ADD, where like, the challenge is not in playing the game, but in figuring out fast enough what's happening and, you know, going from there. Um, I think the NES Remix levels are um, a lot more fun than this. Some of these levels can be reasonably fun, but they just, even the fun ones end so fast that like you just find yourself wishing you had more time in them. I don't know. So I don't think WarioWare is necessarily a must play. It's definitely a could play. Um, you know, I'm not saying that this game isn't fun and no one should play it, but I'm just saying like, I think there are better uh, sort of Remix games. Oh man, I can never get these chopping ones, they're too hard. And yeah, it's it's an interesting idea, but I think WarioWare definitely is a little overpraised in my opinion. I, I don't think it's as unique as people make it out to be. I mean, it is unique, but it's sort of like, um, is it unique in a way that like makes the game super fun? I don't know, I have more fun with NES Remix. So I, I keep going on and on about enjoying NES Remix more. I'm just going to shut up, guys. What do you think? Have I got it right? Have I got it wrong? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. I'm always curious to hear your takes on things, because certainly mine is but an opinion. It is not necessarily the be-all, end-all. So feel free to agree with me, disagree, whatever you want. Um, as always, the only thing I really hope is that you, whatever you think of my opinion and whatever you think of this game, you had a laugh today, you uh, enjoyed hanging out. Um, if that is true, 
Um, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will be back soon with uh, a new video and a new game. A game I can actually play. And uh, what, what better time to end but on a game over. Um, until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and we will see you soon. Um, peace. Oh my god, this is one of the boss stages, and it is like more of a game than we have seen. Like, I, I actually feel like I'm playing more than two seconds of a half thought out idea for a video game. There's an actual game here. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I had to get back to the Nintendo levels on the GameCube version here. So I had to actually fight through two more stages of mini games. And now we're actually going to get to see if there are any new Nintendo games. I mean, I'm assuming every single. Every single uh, level that I've played has had mini games I did not see on the Game Boy Advance. So that was a new level, I think. This seems to be a new level for us, but we we suck at it. So, so there are new there are new Nintendo levels, and even though we're seeing ones we've seen before, I think the Nintendo mini games in this are just so cool. Oh, there's like a Hogan's Alley one. I shot a civilian. Uh, the Nintendo mini games are just so cool that they're they're definitely worth seeing again. Uh, so enjoy, I suppose. Oh, Punch! Oh, this is like one of their early games, Street Fighter. Not Street Fight. Oh, what's it called? Like Street Brawl or something? Got to punch the other guy into the sewer. Um, oh my God! Inserted a Game Boy cartridge. That's kind of awesome, actually. <laughs> what else could they think of? Oh, we saw this one before. The vir the one. I can't believe they have a Virtual Boy level. In WarioWare, Virtual Boy is kind of like the um, the console they don't really talk about and they like to pretend doesn't exist because it was such a big flop. Kaboom! I always remember uh, uh, whatever that game was called there from uh, uh, Back to the Future. Did I did I do it? Oh, I was just supposed to kill one guy, avoid some of these things. Uh, some of these games feel like pretty close to the physics of their original like NES or Super Nintendo game. But others feel like literally the physics are wrong. Like it's just the sprites slapped onto like uh, some other kind of mechanic here, some other engine, which is I'm sure what they did. Type a six. Fire. I did it. Yay. <laughs> that was so easy. Oh, here's the Atari 2600 game. I know that this has got to be from some old Nintendo system. Dodge. Like it just makes me want to play NES Remix. Like literally. There was like there were two stars on the screen, and after the first star, the level just ended. Is there any way to like play more of these levels? I wonder. Oh look, enter the cave. Oh no, we're fail. Whoa, oh my god, we almost failed at entering the cave. Uh, if there was any way to fail at entering a cave, it was I, I would have found it. I failed to grab a bird. What the hell is this? Oh, this is Game and Watch. Uh, I didn't have to do any. What? What? I failed. No. Oh, well, there you go. We got to see the Nintendo levels one more time. There are a few new ones. There might have been one or two other ones I didn't see. But whatever. Now we're officially done. Um, play NES Remix. And if you really love... If you really love these, like, action-y games that are just purely reaction time and how fast can you do something, I guess you'll enjoy WarioWare. But, uh, but I think we're done with the series. So, uh, yeah. Hope you had fun today, guys. Uh, we'll see you soon.